So I just want to get back on track now uh, with uh, reading out some of the emails before I start posting some very, very interesting videos. What I'd like to do is just read out some of the communications just so you get a flavour of what's been happening. Now, I'm not going to mention names to anybody. I, I plan, let's just say Stroud District Council. So I live in Gloucestershire. Uh, I live in a place called Minchinhampton. And uh, Stroud District, let's say this again. Stroud District Council. I won't mention names of people. So we're just going to call you SDC because that's what you like to be referred to as. So let's just take that opportunity. So let's start from uh, an example. 24th of September, 2021, 11.01. Hi both, I've heard nothing back regarding this email and unfortunately, most of my other concerns have not been addressed. Although I'm used to receiving on average at least one threat a day, on Wednesday, I received four. Yes, four threats. So far, this has not been taken seriously in any way, shape or form. I will be taking action, but do not expect to receive or observe any more threatening behaviour. Kind regards, Joanna. 27th of September, 2021, 08.25. Morning, this is for myself again. Morning both, I've just been to check my property as it looks like they are doing something to the roads again, even though this was supposed to be completed by now. I have just reported to the site, not the site manager, as he is too aggressive and has made it very clear I should not bother him with anything, that parts of my walls are starting to crumble. I can actually push blocks of the wall through the other side and back. I'm not, how, uh, not sure how much longer they will last. I have been told that they will replace the wall, but I am concerned about my health and safety and the destruction of my plants and trees again. Please advise how this will be managed as a matter of urgency. Kind regards, Joanna. 29th of September 2021 at 10.54, I receive a response from SDC. Let's say this again, Stroud District Council. Good morning, Joanna. Thank you for reporting your concerns regarding your wall. I have asked Beard, Beard is the property developer, um, to look into this for you. Rest assured that any damage, damage resulting from the works would be resolved, but clearly we prefer there to be none, especially to plants and trees. Are you able to provide any further information with regards to who was threatening you and what they were threatening? Without this information, there is very little that we can investigate. Kind regards, Stroud District Council. 30th. This is where things get very interesting. 4th of October, 2021, 07.14, after many verbal discussions with Stroud District Council and the various builders and beards. Stroud District Council. I'm guessing the site manager didn't get your memo about my email below, as on Wednesday I was assaulted twice and threatened repeatedly, again, all before 9am. My garden wall is starting to collapse. Cracks are growing other parts of the wall and I'm currently monitoring the new cracks in my house from the extreme vibration that I flagged but was ignored as usual. The site manager called me a stupid cow for alerting him to levels of vibration in my house and asking him to manage the risk to my walls, which clearly have more daylight coming through on a daily basis. He is either choosing to ignore the damage or does not have the skills to see the damage. Neither option is suitable to someone I want managing a site that is impacting my mental health on a daily basis. Add that to the following which takes place on a daily to weekly basis. Vandalism, bullying, intimidation, misogyny, sexism, vulgar language, 
displays of aggressive and violent behaviour, threatening to call the police when I've not done anything illegal, health and safety executive breaches, laws broken, noise and sight pollution. I don't want to be abused, sworn at, pushed, shoved, have barriers shoved into me when I'm in a perfectly legal place. I don't want barriers put behind me and then pictures taken to make it look like I am in a place I shouldn't be. It's not acceptable to be regularly told to go back inside and watch this morning, told to get back inside my house when I'm in my garden, shouted out when I'm inside my house, have workers sit in their car or stand outside my house eating breakfast, lunch, smoking, shouting to each other, playing their radio loudly, having loud phone conversations on speaker, talking about vandalising my Aston Martin or garden before they, their start time of 8am. At their break time, 10 to 10.30 a.m., lunchtime and afternoon break, and when they leave for the day. I don't want them to shouting to try and wake her up when they think I'm sleeping, staring in my bedroom window when they can easily move a few steps sideways. I do not want them to threaten to call the police for being on my own road, for being in my garden looking after my trees or monitoring and trying to protect my property. I don't want them throwing rubbish into my garden, putting scaffolding through and into my property and leaving it there for weeks, having their deliveries dumped on my driveway after they have left for the weekend. Ignoring health and safety laws, ignoring highways laws, to be ignored when raising a danger to life risk situation or generally lied to and treated like a piece of dirt. That includes calling me a see you next Tuesday by shouting it repeatedly from the roof of a building which is loud enough for me to hear in the living room at the front of my house. I don't want them discussing what room I am in or where I am in the garden, discussing how they can terrorise me once the houses are built high enough for them to see into my bungalow. I do not want them using I do not want them closing roads unnecessarily. The site manager using closed roads as his own private car park, using and damaging drives and gardens by using vehicles that are too big for the narrow road. I do not want them blocking roads, driveways and parking their HGVs illegally on pavements. I don't want more GDPR breaches. I don't want people from the site I don't know telling me they know personal things about my life. I don't want to hear conversation about guns after I've made a complaint. This Stroud District Council person is only the tip of the iceberg. I don't want to feel intimidated in my own house for months on end. It is a clear abuse of my human rights. It appears that nobody thinks I have any rights whatsoever, but actually I do. I've been reporting this behavior to you for months now and I'm told repeatedly that I am a liar not taken seriously and no action is taken. You have made it very clear that you don't believe a word I say, so there's no point utilising your offer to investigate. The findings will be exactly the same as always, that I am a liar and making it all up, which quite frankly I find appalling as a resident. I will continue raising concerns and recording evidence. As I have said repeatedly, if there's nothing illegal going on, I wouldn't have anything to record. I can assure you I have much better things to do with my time. Now I need to say what happened next. I need to make it very clear what happened next was Stroud District Council and Beard, a director from Beard, came to my house. They insisted on having evidence. Now by that time I'd wised up slightly. So I didn't show it all to them. Stroud District Council sent me a letter to say they'd need a little bit more time to investigate. I have never heard from them ever again. Gloves are off, people. I'm about to release thousands of hours of evidence or videos of them bullying me and assaulting me and threatening me. Thanks, Stroud District Council. Really? Really? Disgraceful behaviour. You want to see the evidence? I'm posting the evidence. You can't be bothered 
you don't want to respond to me because you know what's going on and I see you watching me, watching you, watching me, it's a ridiculous pantomime show. I'm gonna post the thousands of hours. Now I know you've said to me, oh, the boys are worried. What are you gonna do with all that footage? And I said, you know what? One day somebody might want to listen. Now's the time. Now is the time. Expect a lot of footage to be released. Probably, probably shouldn't have done this. <laughs>